So maybe Gwen is allergic to flowers. You will never receive any flowers from me. No. Which means you will get rid of your cup. No. Hello guys, welcome to another video. And this time, today, I had to suffer the surgery, the plastic surgery, or else my Filipina wife said she will divorce me if I will not. No, I didn't say that. Morning, I had to suffer my plastic surgery in my head. If you can't notice any improvements, it means it hasn't kicked in yet but the results will maybe appear later and I'm not getting divorced. Right? No. Right. To make the things clear and to make you understand more what happened today, I am a person who has so many moles all around the body, including my head. And the ones in my head, they are not really plain, but they are like little hills. And there are four of them. And because of I'm getting bald slowly, <laughs> those moles would be all the time under the sun. And it could bring in the future some troubles because in my family we are prone to melanom, skin cancer caused by those moles, which are prone to cancer. So, today I got two of them removed. There are still two more left. Gwendy, who is gonna stay my wife, will show you. How it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, this. You have at least, I think, four, right? And here is the result of my plastic surgery. Like, look. Oh my god, it looks very painful and this one is bleeding. Can you move a little bit, baby, so they can see it properly? Oh my god. Looks very painful, honestly. I remember this one when I was 8 years old and the boys... The boys in the primary were throwing stone to my head and I went home with blood. It brings me to the another thing of today, what happened. I was laying in the surgery room, facing down on the table and they put me those anesthesia and after like one minute they started... They like do this to your head? No. Where no. the anesthesia They was? used scissors. Scissors? No, the anesthesia, where did it they... It was straight to that mole. <laughs> and... That's very big. <laughs> It started working like very quickly and after like minutes she started like cutting it up but I was facing down and after a couple of seconds she started I could feel there was blood flowing all around my ear down to the chin and dropping on the paper towel under me and then the doctor was asking oh my god sir what happened to you your blood is like very thin it should not be like that have you been drinking last night and I was like no you did <laughs> You lied to them. Of course, to the doctor I said I was not drinking. <coughs> so? But the reality, I was drinking a little because I was scared of yeah. the surgery. <laughs> and then is it wrong if you were drinking last night? It's not wrong, but the blood becomes thinner, flowing better. So the your veins are not holding the blood that, sh that good. And she was having troubles to iron the meet together so she can stop the bleeding and you know what's crazy as well guys i really believe that kuba was very very scared about the surgery today because aside from drinking yesterday last night i could not sleep because of him he was having nightmares and he was crying and i was like kuba wake up what happened to you and he kept crying like what's going on why are you crying in your sleep you're waking me up. I cannot sleep properly. At first I was being yeah. hunted by a walking trees <laughs> and then I was being hunted by the polar bear. <laughs> he had nightmares because of the surgery and he was crying in his sleep. <laughs> it's very baby, oh my god. But the first part of me becoming more handsome for Filipina is done. Mm, you're handsome even if you have most. Second part is coming on December. 
And this whole thing is just the preparations for our moving to the Philippines. Or not for our, but for me as myself. Second part in December? What do you mean? So this one is on December? Yeah. Why? Because the doctor gave me the date on December. But why they won't cut everything once? Oh yeah, she explained me if she would put if she would put me those anesthetics at once at the back and to the front, it could cause I would lose feeling of my face for longer period of day, and it's not recommended. So it's recommended <laughs> to just put the anesthetics to the one side of the head. For me, this time it was the back side. You should have like you know follow up check up if there will be an infection, if the surgery is successful, if the most like you know would not cause cancer because these kind of moles are very sensitive right so they're gonna have how many checkups so if you have on december you should have in january another checkup before we go to the philippines and another follow-up checkup i think after a few months mm -hmm. so what are your plans with that you're going to the philippines without the checkup is not done yet mm -hmm. so what are you gonna do you're going to Cebu. Mm -hmm. No. It's your call there because... It's not possible because the doctors there are not really like, you know, gonna assist you if you don't give much money to them. So, we have to move our flight then if you So, medical need. service in the Philippines is bad, you say? Yep. If you will not, if you don't have money? Yep. So, why are you bringing me to the Philippines then? Because you want to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not bashing the Philippines, but I'm just stating facts like about here <coughs> what's the difference between especially the medical that's really the best here in my opinion but the worst in the philippines is also the medical field that doesn't... doctors are very good in the philippines but it's just that we don't have enough equipments for for sickness or diseases or stuff yeah, that's really the crazy thing for me so many good doctors so many good nurses are Filipinos all around the world, but how come the medical service in the Philippines is not working? I because, don't say um, the government be quiet, it's me talking. Sorry, you know what happened this year? Just this year, they corrupted billions of money from the PhilHealth Fund and the government want to take it for their personal use and they're just making excuses they're gonna build something. Why are they taking the fund from the Philippine Health? We're in the budget for construction is different from the medical field and the doctors are really like trying to raise that please expand more free hospitals and more technologies for the hospital because we are in need of medical things but the government doesn't care about it all they care is just infrastructures <clears throat> they always get rich after they became politicians <clears throat> It's interesting when it's really always like into those government things and once it's mentioned, once it's mentioned, she gets angry. And I have a question for Gwen. How would you change the situation so it can be better? I cannot change anything, baby, because it needs a unity. And for us to stop those kind of problems in the Philippines, Filipinos have to, have to be aware who is the right official should be in place in the government but because of number one vote buying in the philippines they're not gonna vote someone unless if this politician is gonna give the money they're always being lied because of money and then that those corrupt politicians won during the election and they sit in the position and they're slowly getting money because of the stupid decisions of filipinos what do you think guys? Let me know down in the comments how would be Gwen as a politician or a president? I was once. You were a politician? Yeah, at school. That's nice. We also had like that school government, primary school, high school. And I was doing as much as as much as I can to avoid entering this. <laughs> because being well, there it means responsibility and i did not want it that i always wanted it when want is a kind of person who likes to <clears throat> who likes to work in a team and i am that solo person I most of the time person. yeah i mean i i really love collaboration and really love discussions and, and you know me personally i hate that 
because I know the other people will not put as much effort as I do as I do. No, find your people who is the same as you. I found you and still the same. <laughs> okay. Just joking. Gwen is the best collaborator. The best for me. Yeah, the noisiest. Right? Hmm? Very noisy. The opposite that tracks blah, 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 noisy blah, 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 and quiet. <laughs> Also, I will include like what's happening in our lives currently. Both of us are sick with Gwen. The Gwen started and then she infected me. But she is suffering horrible cough. Yesterday she went to the doctor. Doctor mentioned that she could have an allergy. Got some syrups, pills and so on. And she came from work yesterday. She noticed she started coughing much more intense than when she was outside or in a school and yesterday she still got here like imagine there is still just this one flower but yesterday it was like 15 bouquets she received from parents at the school from teachers for her birthday everything and she was thinking it's that flowers which causes her cough so she put all of them to the plastic bag and throw them away and Surprisingly, the cough was gone, not 100%, <laughs> but improved a lot. Yeah. So maybe Gwen is allergic to flowers, which is win-win for both of us. <coughs> Why? You will never receive any flowers from me. No. Which means you will get rid of your cough. No. <laughs> just maybe just some of those flowers I'm allergic to. <laughs> I will buy you like plants like this. No. Orchid, orchid. <coughs> I forgot. <coughs> Which has no blossoms at now. Yeah. She's still alive. I got them for last year. This one I got this during my birthday. Today is the very random video of ours. I would say it's the first time. Everything is for the first time. <coughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If it was interesting or if you like this kind of like random lifestyle videos of ours, let us know in the comments so we can focus on this one or let us know it sucks and we will stop. It's up no, to you. we will never stop. We will we, improve. Oh, we will never stop. We will improve. <laughs> yeah. Hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye bye.